Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. That's not fair. You don't have to be fair. Another episode of One That Got Away, and this episode of One That Got Away features a movie that is considered a 2014 release. And if you are new to my channel, you all know that when I do this segment, it is a movie that I missed in theaters from the previous year. But the wide release of this movie was January 9th, 2015, so I consider this a 2015 release. And this is the Julianne Moore starred film, Still Alice. A very emotional story of a brilliant woman living happily with her family in the heart of New York City and suddenly realizes one day that something is not quite right in her mind. She's suddenly forgetting things, she is suddenly not realizing where she is, and it turns out that at a very young age, she had early onset Alzheimer's disease. I hope you all don't consider that a spoiler because everybody knows about this movie and everybody knows the fact that Julianne Moore gave one of her greatest performances that actually got her the Oscar for Best Actress. And this movie is a wonderful story because it is a story that shows how a hardship and a burden like this can really take its toll on an entire family when everybody else has separate things going on, important things Things happening left and right, but when this kind of event takes place, it's amazing how the family will drop everything and come together to try and make sure that the person who is suffering remembers the good things in life. This movie is wonderful from beginning to end. It's got a fantastic cast, including Alec Baldwin, Kate Bosworth, and believe it or not, a tolerable performance from Kristen Stewart. Although I will say that one of the major issues that I have with the movie is the fact that Kristen Stewart's character is heavily used in the movie, and she just doesn't put the acting chops in, like Kate Bosworth, Julianne Moore, and Alec Baldwin, and everybody else that's in this movie. She just doesn't do it. And quite frankly, in my world, I think it's just because of the fact that she can't do it. Although I was quite surprised that I actually did see a smile in there. This movie is also a very quick watch. It's very well paced. It's hard to imagine that it's an almost a two hour film. But the one thing that I will say that really hurts me in regards to reviewing this movie is that it is such an emotional blow. Like, this movie will ruin your day because of the heaviness that this film deals with. You will cry, or you will at least sob if you consider yourself a very strong individual, but it will make the manliest of men cry when they see this woman who never did anything wrong just suddenly having all of these horrible things happen to her and when you get to the end of that film you are just exhausted because of what you just experienced you think it's hard to get through batman v superman dawn of justice try getting through still alice i will say that it is a very good movie it is worth seeing at least once if you appreciate movies like this then god willing see it again but I just don't see the rewatchability in this movie because it's just so heart-wrenching and so depressing. It just made me so sad, even though I know for a solid fact it's a very solid movie. So I'm going to give Still Alice three and a half out of four. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please put your comments in the box below. And if you happen to be someone who has a family member or a close friend or just someone that you know that is suffering from this disease, please let's have a discussion. I'll do my best to have a very good conversation with you and maybe I'll make you feel a little bit better. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one that got away. And actions speak louder than words.